What's going on YouTube for Asti here? Hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to move away from the general negativity that surrounds Call of Duty right now after this SM2 fiasco. And I wanted to talk about the last time Call of Duty was truly great in my opinion. Now this might be considered a bit of a hot take as I'm sure there are people out there that doesn't believe that Call of Duty has been good since like the Black Ops 2 era or Modern Warfare 2. And there's probably people that believe that Black Ops 4 or Modern Warfare 2019 was the last time Call of Duty was truly great. However, for me, it's going to be Black Ops 3. And the reason for that is because Black Ops 3 was in a very unique situation compared to any of its predecessors. And what I mean by that is it was at a point where we had just had two very poorly received Call of Duties in a row, which hadn't happened in a very long time, if ever at that point. And Black Ops 3 also had to balance this innovation complex that the community had. Because at the time, the community was sick and tired of this rinse-repeat formula that Call of Duty was going through. Where it felt like there was no true steps forward year in and year out. We were just getting basically the same game in a different time setting. Does that sound a little familiar to you? Regardless of that fact, what... Treyarch decided to do was take aspects of what worked in other games like Destiny and Titanfall and use it in Call of Duty and apply it to the Call of Duty formula. And they did it to perfection. They innovated, but not only did that, they also utilized the advantages of the Call of Duty formula to make an extremely fun game. They applied advanced movement. They applied the specialist streaks. And they didn't tinker too much with the Call of Duty formula, so it felt naturally like a Call of Duty game. And I'm sure people have their gripes with Black Ops 3, but in all honesty, this project could have gone awry. It could have been the third Call of Duty in a row that failed to meet expectations. However, instead of doing that, it exceeded everything that the community had at the time. We had these extremely high expectations because Treyarch was coming off of Black Ops 2 and frankly Advanced Warfare and Ghost just didn't meet any of the expectations we had at the time. Then Black Ops 3 comes out and absolutely kills it. It is such a fun game to play, the map design is unique, the specialist streaks are fun, and the gunplay and gameplay overall is immensely enjoyable. And they were able to intricately apply the new movement mechanics within each and every map to make it work within the Call of Duty formula and capitalize on it. It was honestly wonderful to play and I look back on it now so fondly because it was truly an experience. It was not like any other Call of Duty game whereas at the same time it was and that's what was so brilliant and beautiful about it was that I knew I was playing Call of Duty but I was also mixing in elements from Titanfall and from Destiny into the game. And every time I played it, I felt that little bit of innovation, that little bit of change really made it to be a complete experience, a lot of fun. And I'm going to be honest here as well. The zombies in Black Ops 3 was wonderful. It was beautiful. It was awesome. I would love to go back and just grind zombies again like I did for weeks and weeks on end back in the Black Ops 3 era. But if I'm being honest here, Call of Duty has never reached this milestone again. It seems any time that we are met with high expectations, the game falls short by a large standard. And unfortunately, where we're moving with Call of Duty is we're falling back into this life cycle where it just seems that the games are rinse and repeat with different time eras. And we need a Black Ops 3 to save us now. We need a game that's going to come out, be a little bit innovative, take some risks, and actually work as a game. It needs to feel like I'm playing Call of Duty. Going back and playing Black Ops 3 today versus what it was like to play Modern Warfare 2 is night and day. Black Ops 3, with all of its advanced movement, with the specialists, feels more like a regular Call of Duty game than what we have with Modern Warfare 2. And that's sad to say. It's eight years after the release of this game, and this game beats Modern Warfare 2 out of the water, no questions asked. 
it's quite interesting, really. You have all of these interesting mechanics that needed to go into Black Ops 3 to make it work. And Treyarch knocked it out of the park. The map design in this game utilizes all those different movement aspects that we had never seen before in Call of Duty and makes maps very unique to this game. I think of maps like Combine. I think of this map, Hunted. You are able to swim in this map, wall run, boost jump. There were so many different aspects of the movement that no game felt the same. No game felt like it was going to be boring because you could always approach the game differently depending on how you wanted to play it. You could approach gunfights differently because you were able to utilize the different movement mechanics. Overall, this game was a gift and it's so disappointing that we have moved so far away from the quality that this game had to offer. And we're now stuck with what we have today in Call of Duty, which is just frankly not good enough. And constantly expectations that are being just not met. I'm hoping that Call of Duty can learn from its previous mistakes and that we can get another game like Black Ops 3 again. But what it's going to take is it's going to take a franchise that has been going off the rails to right the ship. It's going to take Activision to properly oversee what the developers are doing. Because I feel like Treyarch cared during the Black Ops 3 era. And I just don't know if there's another development team that cared as much as this team did to make it a full successful game. And that's disappointing to say, but that's the truth. And I know I don't want to be negative because this is supposed to be an uplifting video, but watching this gameplay over again, I long for this. I would love to see Black Ops 3 get remastered, if I'm being honest, or another Black Ops 3S game with this type of movement. It worked. It capitalized on what worked in the Call of Duty formula and made it better with the enhanced movement and the specialist streaks. At the time, it may not have been received perfectly, but when you look back on it, it is one of the strongest games in the Call of Duty life cycle that we have ever seen. And honestly, it needs to be brought up more how unique this game truly was and how it was able to utilize its movement systems to enhance the Call of Duty formula. Anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts of Black Ops 3 down below in the comment section. Please let me know what you think. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.